Today, we're going to talk about the three ways that you can become a better designer. When it comes on to becoming a better designer, there are three key areas I think that all designers need to really pay attention to. The first key area I would say is that we need to learn how to negotiate. Many a time in my career, as I've worked with certain clients freelancing and also in agencies and in companies, I've found that many a times I haven't really understood how to communicate my designs effectively. Or maybe sometimes as a designer working with developers, I've thought of some ideas that are really, really amazing. But then when, it, when we kind of match those ideas with the budget and maybe with the development time, it doesn't really work out. So when it comes to negotiating your skills, you really, really need to become very effective at that. And the best way I've learned to negotiate your skills is to understand just a little bit about what other people do or understand more about who you are working with. So for example, I'll give you one example. When I'm working with developers, I now have a better understanding of HTML, JavaScript and CSS. So when I choose to pick a certain function or feature, I know within the time scale and in the budget that is allocated, whether that function that I think is good can be given. Also, even if it may be a good feature, working with the developer directly, working with them and speaking with them and negotiating, going back and forth and finding the best solution will also allow you to create a better design set. And this also helps you when you go back to the client to sell not only yourself and your expertise but also to sell the reasons why you have chosen to pick a certain feature or design style or a certain font remember you're working with people and people have their own you know their own needs their own desires so remember that and also try and meet people where they are so definitely number one learn how to negotiate your skill set second thing i would say is you need to learn people's behavior you have to remember, especially as a UX designer, that we are designing for people. We're creating products or services that people will use at the end of the day. So what are the ways that people think? A great book that I would say to use with that is this book by Dr. Caroline Leaf, which is called How to Switch on Your Brain. Although she gives principles more on a personal note, how you can effectively tap into the power of your brain, there are also some strengths and weaknesses that we need to be aware of that I think she can give, that can give you really good insights into human behavior. Another book I would say to use is called How We Decide by Jonah Leher. Great book that we can use that will also help us to understand more about human behavior as well. So definitely learn psychology or another way to put it is cognitive psychology, the reasons why we pick, the reason why we choose what we do. The third thing I would say is we need to learn how to listen. Remember, we have two ears and one mouth for a reason. And with those two ears, use it to your advantage. You have been blessed and been given these things. And especially when it comes to understanding the business goals, understanding the client's needs especially, and then on the flip side to understand the user's needs. Who am I designing this for? Then you can become more and more effective the more and more that you listen. Remember, you want to ask some key questions. Well, who is that customer? What is their hopes, fears and dreams? And what solutions can we provide that not only meet their needs, but also exceed their needs that will help to build loyalty and trust? So I hope these three things are really helpful for you today. Number one, to learn how to negotiate your skills. Number two is to learn cognitive psychology. And number three is to learn how to listen. If you find this helpful today, then please just let me know. And also, if you can think of any other ways that we can become better designers, then definitely write them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash leif.wallis. You can follow me on Twitter with at Leif Wallace. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, Leif underscore Wallace. And just hit me up and get connected with me. Please subscribe to this channel and look out for more videos coming soon from Wallace TV. Thank you for watching Digital TV. And if you've liked this video today, don't forget to download my free 25 point UX design checklist. It's really great. It's a checklist that will allow you to go through some of the key things that we may forget as UX designers. And even if you are a seasoned professional, it's helpful. And if you're a beginner, then it's definitely helpful for you. So download it for free and definitely go on my Facebook and just contact me and let me know what you think about it going forward. Take care.